private label versus wholesale. What's gonna make you the most money in 2024 and beyond? I've had a wholesale business for over 10 years. I've had a private label business for about four years now. It's been a really big business and I know that business inside and out. So in this video, we're gonna talk about which one's right for you. What are the pros and the cons of each type of business? I love selling on Amazon. The revenue is addictive. Let me show you my Amazon seller account. Let's zoom in. This is what I've done the last 30 days. You can see this is just after Christmas, so we're low on inventory in January. My private label business does about $2 million annually. The revenue on Amazon is there. It's highly addictive. There are tens of thousands of sellers that do over a million a year. There's a few that start every single day. So let's jump into the subject. Let's talk about private label and wholesale, which is right for you. I'm gonna start out with wholesale. So wholesale is where you are buying branded products either directly from the manufacturer or the brand, or you buy it from a distributor and you buy it at wholesale prices. This allows you to have a little bit of margin that when you sell it on Amazon, you're making a little bit of a profit. In my experience with the a few million products we sell every single year, the profit was around 20% gross margins. It's not huge, but man, the revenue numbers in wholesale and the fact that you can get started really quickly is a huge benefit. So let's talk about some pros of wholesale and some of the cons. Here's a few of the pros. This business scales. If you can actually get to 1 million in revenue on Amazon in a wholesale business, you can get to 10. And I, I firmly believe you can be profitable on day one. If you buy the right inventory, work with the right brands, there's profit margins built in for you. And if you're looking for the really good brands to source from in a wholesale business, I can definitely recommend Smart Scout as a tool because it has every single brand on Amazon and you can filter through to find the best ones that fit your interests. The barrier to entry is also pretty low for wholesale. Brand new Amazon sellers can start out in this business model. It's not too challenging. Now, as much as I love this business, let's be honest, there's a few things that are not as ideal. The margins are a little bit lower. We're talking 20% gross margin. So if you do $100,000 in revenue, you can expect to see about $20,000 in profit. With that $20,000 of profit, you need to give yourself a salary and there might be some other overhead things that end up costing you money. So that's probably why you wanna to scale to a million dollars. So this really gets to be an interesting business model. Another negative about wholesale is you can actually lose a brand. Maybe they no longer want to sell to you as a wholesaler. Or maybe they discontinue their products. It's actually really annoying that you have to like cycle through different products. What you sell next year may not be what you're selling this year. So there's a little bit of time you gotta spend if your products are evolving over time. And the final thing is this business may be hard to exit. You're not gonna find a lot of people that are wanting to buy profitable wholesale businesses. So this is one of those that you, you can just keep around and profit year after year, but don't expect that someone's gonna come in and swoop up your business for tens of millions of dollars. That is rare. It has happened, but I don't necessarily in 2024 be and beyond expect to see that happening a lot. Now let's jump over to private label. Private label is where you manufacture your own product or you pay for a manufacturer to slap your logo on their product. Maybe you do a few custom things, but when I think of private label, it's just your own brand. You can register it with the, uh, the USPTO and that makes this business very defensible. And people can't sell your product. If you have the trademark, you don't have anyone competing on your listing. No one else can take your brand. You have this in the future. One of the most common ways to do this business is to go to Alibaba and find a supplier for a product that you're interested in. Start communicating with them, make a few adjustments. What's the minimum order quantity that you need to do? And then you buy that inventory, wait three months and then launch your product. There have been many successful sellers that have done this model. It does require a little bit more upfront capital, but there's a risk factor. Not every product is just gonna work. And we'll jump into that. But if you're doing a lot of research, uh, Smart Scout has a subcategories tool, which lets you see 
the estimate revenue in every single category and what brands and products are already successful. You can get an idea if you're bringing an improvement to this category and if your product will win in the end. And so I really think that if you're gonna be spending a few thousand dollars, you should really consider doing some, some product and some category research. This is a higher margin business. We're talking 30 to 40, maybe even up to 50% gross margins. And you can exit this business in a cleaner way. A lot of people have sold their companies in the millions of dollars in just the last few years alone. And I expect that to continue as solid brands are always in demand. If you build a product that people want, Amazon will always be an awesome channel for this. Because remember, there are over 100 million people with their credit cards inside of Amazon. So if you meet the right product to the right market, it's just gonna take off. Now let's talk about some of the trade-offs of private label. It's a little bit riskier. There's a chance that your product doesn't fit what the market is looking for. This is similar to a lot of businesses out there. Not every business is going to work. Maybe they are just like lukewarm. You know, in my private label business, we have some products that really make us a lot of money. We've got some middle of the road products. We have some that we've had to just give up on. Another negative is the cost of advertising is on the rise. That means just to have a successful launch, you need a little bit more money to invest in that launch with Amazon's pay-per-click or PPC. And then the fun thing is the, is the, the time that it requires. If you're issuing an order with a manufacturer, it can take up to three months before that product ships overseas and is actually available for customers. So those are the pros and the cons of the private label versus wholesale. Which one can make you more money? Which one fits your style? If you are the entrepreneur that wants to go for like for the skies, you know, private label will be a really good fit for you. But if you want to start cash flowing in the next few months, replace your income and maybe actually have a true side hustle that becomes your main job, wholesale's a faster route to that. And I've seen many people in both of these business models quit their jobs and succeed in building a business. Amazon has been a successful marketplace for over a decade and I really enjoy the thrill of selling it in an e-commerce environment with like tons of customers that are ready. If you like this and you're really serious about starting a business, we have a coupon code for Smart Scout, SMART2024, and that will give you 25% off your first three months. Notwithstanding, there already is a free trial, so you lose nothing by giving it a go. And you can see why Smart Scout is the best tool for launching your Amazon business. Now, if you wanna learn more, I have a podcast with a few hundred episodes where I speak with industry experts and get really deep in some details of being a successful Amazon seller. I talk both wholesale and private label. I bring in both professionals. I also do run an Amazon wholesale conference. Last year, 2023, was our first year and it was a huge success with 700 people in attendance. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, give us a shout out in the comments and we hope to see you with a successful Amazon business.